little bit. And it's now recording. Okay, the Hangout is now on air. Okay, so mm -hmm. my name is Jeff. Your name is, uh, how do you pronounce it? Bell? Bell? What do I call you, Bell? I just call me Barry. That's easier. Barry. Everyone calls you Barry, do they? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Barry. All right, we'll call it Barry. All right, then. So um, just to explain a little bit about how this way this works, I don't know if you notice, but when I'm talking, my face is at the, at the top of the screen, and when you talk, if you are to talk now. Yes. I'm and still then your up. face becomes on the screen. But yeah. if you want to, you can make it so one face is fixed on the screen. For example, where my face is in the little thing down the bottom, if you click on that, you'll notice my, my face stays there all the time, even if you do talk. So if you talk now. So can I talk now? So what's happening now? I clicked on your thing, nothing's happening. I'm clicking on your face. That's right. But when you're talking, uh, you don't see your face in the big screen, right? You only see my face. If you click on where you clicked on my face again, right, yeah. you'll find that uh, it will now switch over to whoever's doing it. By the way, we have one other person uh, I've just noticed is a viewer. They're not actually uh, participating. We have another person viewing, which is yeah. not participating. We can have multiple people uh, viewing. We have unlimited number of people viewing at the same yeah. time we're participating. If that person wants to be part of the thing, you need to disconnect and then go to the first link I sent on the email, not that second link, right, if you're, uh, if that person wants to participate in the training, all right? Okay, so I'll just watch that and watch what happens there. Okay, let's get it going, all right? What I, to be able to do what we do, I do what's called screen sharing, all right? That right. means that uh, we get to share the screen and what I prefer to do is use your screen and I'm telling you what to do and we can see what you're doing on your screen. If I just showed you on my screen, it wouldn't be very good. All right. But if we put on your screen, it's much, much better. How this works, if you move your cursor for where it is at the moment and move it over to the left-hand side where it had that chat thing, can you move your cursor over? You can see that. Oh, chat don't, don't click on anything at this stage. Move your cursor oh, over. Where the, the chat thing is, yeah? Yeah, okay. And underneath that, there should be a little green box that says screen share. Can you put There's your point on There's a green box that? with an arrow. That's right. It says screen share. Okay. Green so share. Screen share. That means what we're going to do is share your screen. Now, I just need to uh, um, pre-warn you with this. You haven't got anything on your desktop or anything like that you don't want anybody else to see, have you? Oh, well, no, it's all paperwork and my phone and that. Okay, that's but I mean, no, no not on the, on the computer screen. I mean, on your computer screen, on your laptop screen. You haven't got anything on your laptop screen. You might have this. Uh, okay. I've got a center link and all those apps on it. Okay, but we won't be going into those apps, all right? We'll only be showing you the, the training. So if you don't want to go into anything, please don't do it, all right? Okay. So. If you, you point the pointer on that screen share and you click on it once, it'll come up and say, share your screen. Yeah, it's come up with it, yeah. And it says your entire screen, which is on the left, or application window, which is on the right. Yeah. Okay? If it says your entire screen, down the bottom it says share. If you want to click on that thing that says share. Yeah. You done that? Once I do that, so, so it will show the entire screen. Yeah, right. there right. we go. That's it. Now, I'm looking at your screen. Your pictures. Okay. I'm looking at your screen, looking at me, right? So I can see your entire your entire screen, and I'm going to make that large so we can see that, all right? Yeah, okay. So now I'm looking at your screen. I, I can see not only me on your screen, but also I can see your desktop. Okay, right out. To be able to do the training that we're going to do today, right? Yeah. Um, by the way, that other viewer went away, so perhaps they may be joining in shortly. Okay. To be able to do what we're going to do, what we're going to do today, um, we I'll use the tr training notes that I've used in the past. Okay. Right. So you've already got a a, a Google, a Google um, at the top. You'll notice at the top of your screen you've got a new tab. You've got some obviously email, unread messages, and you've got Google Hangout. And to the right of that, you've got an extra little thing that allows you to open a new tab. 
if you want to go up to the top of that put the pointer up move your pointer up group chat is it where i must go to right up the top of your screen now you move your pointer around so i can see oh, there's your point not there no right up higher again right up there that's where it says that's it says new tap move across to the right right to the end right don't click on any of them go right across to that little one no not that far across one where it says google hangouts and to the right of that is a little gray area no up on the next row up no the next row up over to the left okay coming back that's it that's it perfect perfect keep coming back keep coming back that a little bit there click on that and that will open a new tab okay okay by the way I, I i as you can see i can see your screen that's the way we do this training i can see your screen yeah. so the advantage is you're doing what we're doing and i i'm instructing you what, what you need to do i'd like you to go to my website and my and where it's flashing at the top there the address bar just simply type in my website which is jeff g-e-o-f-f -F. Well, so i just I type in web my website almost i type in jeff yeah, Jeff, G E O W -F, F. G E E O Double F. Double F. And then full stop. Full stop. Yeah. Greg, which is my surname. G R E R E I I G. G R E I I for India and G. Yeah yeah uh, full stop right uh jeff uh dot jeff dot greg dot net net right dot au okay and press enter Please wait, read our training material. Yeah, developed you are. Training material developed by Jeff Gregg. Okay, so right. we've got it going. Okay, right. so this is going to. Uh, so what we're doing is we're. This is this. Uh, we've got. I've got lots of training material there. By the way, if you ever want to look at any of this, you can come back to this because you've now got. This is recorded, so you you can see where you've typed that in. Uh, but we're going to look at where it says other training material. Uh, other training material. And Below that, it's got a um, beginner uh, beginner's course training notes. It's in blue text. Beginner's course videos. Beginner's course. No, that one there. Beginner's course training notes. If you click on that one once, there we are. Right. So yeah. Okay. This is the material that I wrote quite a few years ago. You could see in February, uh, originally in February two thousand and eight. So this goes back a long way. Yes. Okay, okay so, um, all right. So what we're going to do now, oh, by the way, is uh, if you scroll down a little bit, okay, you know how to scroll down? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Outcome, uh, objectives. Okay. We've got uh, uh, outcomes. What we're going to do is look at some of the outcomes that we're going to be doing. So what we'll do is, number one, which describe ways of learning how to use a computer and where to find reference material. So we won't do that one. Consist yourself in an ergonomic way. We won't do that one. But we're going to do number three. Effectively mm -hmm. hold the mouse. Effectively hold the mouse. And use the mouse. Okay. Do you use a mouse? Yes, I'm using the mouse. Yes. Okay. Do you know? Do you know how to point? Obviously, you do because it, that's it. You're, you're pointing at that already. Yes. You know how to click. Obviously. What's a click? No, you do know how to click. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. So let's just, for those people that may not know how to click, let's just show you how to click. So to click, you press the left mouse button. So if you want to click on that. The left click, right? Not the right click. Left click, okay. Okay. And right. you'll notice it goes back. It goes to some instructions of how to use the mouse. It's actually hold and use the mouse, yes. Okay. So if you put the pointer, you know how to go with the back button? With the, on, in your browser? Yeah. Uh, the, the button to, to move the thing? or no, where? No, to go back to where you were. Oh, to the, the yeah, back yeah, screen. Go there. back to the Just tick. Just move the, the mouse back. around a couple of times so people can see that. All right? 
So click move on back and we'll see history. Is that what you're saying? That's right. So click on that once. Yeah, and now I'm back to where back to where you were. Okay, right. Yeah, so and you know how to click. You know how to right click. You know, you know now, do you know when it shows you where the printer and all that, yeah. Yeah. So go to the pointer where it says right click. Okay. Go to where move your pointer down where it had effectively use the mouse you can right click here right click you notice first of all when you notice now that the cursor is different to what it was when you were it's when you put it on effectively holding yeah, because it's like an eye that's like an eye that means it's and then you know what that eye is no it's called an insertion bar we'll look at about it in a minute oh, so yeah, so when you get into some place here yeah, yeah. Okay. okay so what we're going to do is learn how to right click now so if you right click, it means you press the right mouse button. So press the right mouse button where you are. Yeah, what and then, it What's it uh, saying? It says back, forward, reload, save as print, cast, translate to English. Okay. All right. So that's because you right clicked at that particular point. Okay. Yeah. Move the pointer over so you're over in a white area where there's not on any writing. No, a white area. That's over there, yeah, there somewhere. Now just click there, left, left click knows it now disappears okay yeah so now it's back forward reload save as print cast translate here yeah. yeah it's still got those same things but go back to where it says effectively hold and use the mouse go back to where it says and point to that go back to where, where it says effectively use the, the, the hold and use the mouse. Use a window no use the one above it, effectively hold and use the mouse go to the top one next one up now right click now right click okay it still says the same Open link in a new tab open oh, yes yes it's different yeah why is it different because it's right clicked no we right clicked over in the white area and it gave a different message okay yeah. move into the white area move up on the, this is on the effectively hold and use the mouse it's on there so it says That's open right. But when you clicked up there, it's it's something different. Okay, so a yeah. lot of people don't realise, and something which is why one of the things we're doing the beginners course. A lot of people don't realise that when you right click, it the right click function is called a context menu. Context it means when you right click, you get a menu in context to what you are pointing at at the time. So okay. if you're if you're on where you're pointing there, it says open new tab, open new new window, open new cognitive. We won't worry about what that is at the moment. But if you move up to the white area again, open to the yes. white area up there. Yes. Move the pointer so it's not on anything. Now right click. You get and a different now, one. Yeah, because now it's back to the back forward reload save. That's right. Point. Yeah. Okay. Just a matter of interest. <clears throat> put your mouse right down the bottom on the taskbar. Right down the bottom, we're on the taskbar. Yeah. Uh, where are you? You're on that area, okay? And notice it says task view when you're on that. Move yeah. over to where it uh, says beginner's course exercises, okay? Beginner's course, sorry. The, the next one, a couple of icons to the right. Move across to the right. To the right. Okay. And that's another one. One that says beginner's course. Move across to that one. Now keep going. It, it, it's got the writing on it. Beginner's course. You can see it there. Next, no, next one across. Two across. From the next, next one across. Okay. Move to that one. Beginner's course. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. Now right click and see what happens. Okay. Now you get something completely different. It says Google Hangout policies, YouTube. Okay. All, 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 I'm, all I'm trying to emphasize here is when you right click on something, right? Yes. You get a completely different, depending on where you right click, you'll get a completely different menu. Right. Okay. Well, the context. Is that icon you click on, is that what it says? That's right. Well, if you uh, even if you went up to the taskbar, you went uh, right over to the right, there's teeny weeny little areas when you click differently, it does different things. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's right. what's called right clicking. And a lot of people think that right click always comes up with the same menu. The thing that confuses people is, in a completely different program, if you right click, you'll get a completely different thing. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So if you go back and 
uh, if you ever got a, a something like that and you want to get back to where you are, just click in a white area, an, an area that's got no text on it. Click yeah, there. It's out. Yeah. It's out of that. Okay. All right. So we know how to point. We know how to click. We know how to right click. Yes. Do you know how to drag and what dragging is for? Sort of. Dragging is to move one thing to another place. Is that what it is? One of the one of the functions here. Yeah. Yeah, one of the functions to move one thing to another place, but it also does more than that. You can there, there are many, many, many different things you can do with uh, dragging. To give an example, notice where it says, uh, you know, uh, up point number three, effectively hold and use the mouse. It says two point. Put the word on the cursor to the left of the word T O in two two point. Uh, two point. Right. Yeah, to the left of that. Two point. Yeah. No, to the left of the word T-O, you're on point. That's it there. Notice, by the way, when it's on mouse, it's, it's a hand, and when yeah. you move over to two, it changes from a hand to that little yeah. eye thing, yeah. which is the insertion bar. Now, very carefully hold the left mouse button down and very carefully move only two or three characters to the right and tell me what happened. Well, right, I say right click. Now the left, now the left mouse button down. Now you've got to be on the two to start with. Hold the left on mouse the button. Two. There, that's right. Now hold it down and drag yes. slightly to the right. Hold the left mouse button. There, okay. see what happened? Now it is uh, goes into color blue. Okay. Do you know what that's called? That's called. Uh, you can. You can then, this is called, you, you're selecting it. Ah, yes, very good. Yes, it's selecting. That's called selecting text. And yeah. one of the things for clicking the mouse yeah. is to select text. A lot of people do not realize this. There's another way of doing it as well, other than just doing this way. That's just called selecting text, all right? So yeah. once you've clicked on that, by yeah. the way, now put the pointer on that blue text that you've clicked on. Put the pointer on there. That's it. Now, while it's on there, press the right mouse button. No, you moved off. Right. You moved off when you did. You're going to have to select it again, select it again. Very difficult. Okay. That'll do. That's enough. Okay. Let it go. Now, put the pointer on it. No, you don't, you got, you're holding the button down still. Ah, now you right click and see what it says. Copy, search Google to P. Yeah. Google. Okay, but the main oh, thing is, is it's got copy. All right. Yeah. By the way, click back on the white area again. Click on the white, back on the white area. Click away from that. If you ever got one of these menus you don't want, you just click away from it. Click on a white. That's it. You've done that. Now select uh, that thing again. Select it again. Two point. Oh, back. Sorry. My apologies. Don't select it. Click on the white area again. My apologies. Right. Yeah, click there. Now right click again. Where, where there's nothing there. Yeah, where there's nothing. Just right click. Back, forward, reload, yeah. sprint, cast, translate to English. Yeah, okay. So you'll notice when you selected something and you right clicked, it came up with one particular menu. But when you haven't got anything selected and you right click, it comes up with a different menu. Different, yes, different uh, options, yeah. Were you aware of that, Barry? Uh, I was aware of uh, printing because I, I do a lot of printing from uh, uh, on my emails, you know, I do a lot of printing. Okay, but you weren't aware that you're getting a different menu yeah. if you've selected something or not, okay? Yeah, no, I, I wasn't aware of that, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's what the whole reason we do this beginners course for non-beginners, I suppose. A lot of people do things and do not realize, and things happen. They do not realize why they're happening. Why it's but happening? Yes, yes. You select something, right? You right. drag across it and you select it, right? Uh, uh, and then you right-click on it. You get a different menu, and one of those menus is the ability to copy. And we're going to do copying a little bit later on if we get time. By the yeah. way, we've still got our one viewer that's viewing us, so we're, we're not the only two people here. There's a, another person viewing this as well. All right. Um, if it's somebody I know, drop us an email so I get to know who you are. Or if you don't want your name mentioned, it doesn't matter. Okay. okay. Right. So, so we know now how to select. By the way, you can select 
lots of other things, you, uh, uh, sorry, uh, dragging, there's other things that you can drag. With this particular pro in this particular program, in a browser, we can't drag anything, but if we're in, for example, Microsoft Word, and we selected some text and then dr clicked and dragged it, we could drag it to somewhere else in the document. We'll look at that a little bit later on if we get time, okay? Okay. All right, the next one. So that's clicking and dragging the mouse. If you just click away from that again, so I can read what's behind it because I can't read it. So we've done point, click, right click, drag, and use the scroll wheel. And use the scroll wheel. Do you have a little wheel on your mouse? Yes. You do. Do you know how it works? Uh, yeah, it, 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 you can scroll up and down. Okay, yeah, you just did it then, did you? You're scrolling, scrolling down. Yeah. By the way, this is a very, very big page, and you're scrolling down a fair way. That's okay. That's very good. So a lot of people do not realize you've got a button in the middle of the mouse, and rather than using the scrolling function on the right, you can use the wheel to scroll up and down. Okay. Yes, really so that's a scroll. Do you realize there's actually another function of the scroll wheel? No. You can do something else. Okay, leave the mouse where it is, and I don't know if it'll work on your computer because it depends on the mouse driver. Just try pressing down the wheel. Press it down. Yeah. Ah, yeah. See yeah. what happened? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Press it again. Press it again. Disappeared. Okay. We're going to show and press it again so it disappears. We're going to show you what that is next. That's one of the next things we're going to do. A lot of people do not realize the mouse, the wheel, is actually another button. You think you've only got a left button and a right button. You've actually got a left, a middle, and a right. The one in the, the wheel is actually a button. And in <coughs> some programs, you can use that to do things, like that thing that just happened before. I'm going to show you what it will do in a minute. Do you know what that little, what uh, when you press the button, do you know what it does, Barry? Yes, now I know. Now that that sign that comes up, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it means. Okay, we'll show you in a minute. Okay, all right. Keep you in suspense. Can't give you all the information at once. Okay, right out. Okay, um, okay. So the next. So with that. By the way, if you point up at where it says mouse exercises, point up at mouse exercises. Mouse exercises. That's uh, what what number is that? Describe From number three to the right of number three. It's got a um, blue area. Mouse, oh yeah, that is, yeah, it's highlighted. Yeah. Once. Oh, so right click, left click. No, just click. Whenever I say click, it's always left click. Right. Okay. Mouse exercises. Yep. Okay. Now you'll notice there, I've got fourteen different points. It's up to you and anybody that's doing this sort of training if they want to. Uh, if you want to, uh, there, I've written down some things. That, if you do all, we don't do them now, we haven't got time. Yes. If you go through and do each of those things, it, 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 it helps you to understand what the mouse, what you can do with the mouse. Yes. There's a whole lot of mouse exercises. So we want to go back to where we were. So if you know how to press the back button? Yes, you go to the arrow and go back again. Okay, push on that. There we are. Okay, right out. Okay, now let's do that. We're done number three. Very good. <laughs> We've only been going 25 minutes and we've done, we've done one thing, the number three. Let's do number four. Effectively use a window a, vertical uh, in horizontal scroll bars. Use, use a vertical and horizontal scroll bars to see all the information in a window. Okay, righty up. Now, I'm going to have to move something around a little bit here. Uh, well, I'll do that, do that so I can see that a little bit better. Okay, that's better. Now I can see the whole thing. Righty up. What we're going to do is. Do you, you know if you, you're aware of the scroll bar? Are you the scroll bar on the right? Yeah, this uh, one that's here uh, uh, on the right. It shows yeah. two arrows that go up and down. Yeah. Okay. All right. Are you, yeah. Okay. It's so if you put the pointer on that, yeah, and point at it, and that's the up one. So if you click on that once, if you click on that once, the up, what happens? It goes back. It so goes. The scroll screen scrolls down, and that. But how yeah. far does it move? It's one at a time. Yeah, it goes back. It goes actually about. It's actually is a setting that can set it. It moves about four lines at a time. So that's going that way. How do you move the opposite way? Uh, go to the bottom one. Okay, have a go at that one. Okay, so right, so that moves so many lines at a time. Okay, okay, got it now. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah. Were you aware that it moved only so many lines at a time? No, no, I wasn't. I mean, uh, I put this mouse on and I go up and down to scroll, <laughs> but and you don't realize what's happening. Okay, not a problem. I do, I do that, you see, normally. I don't. Okay, you use the third method. The third method is to grab the little slider there, which you, and we drag it. So if you grab that and drag it, hold your mouth, left mouse button down, and drag all the way, okay, all the way to the bottom. That's right. Okay. right. Quick way to get there. It's a lot quicker than going one line. Some people yeah. don't realize you can do that. And if you grab, grab it and drag all the way to the top again. Okay. Right, okay. okay. Sure. Grab it and drag down a little bit so it's just a little gap at the top. Okay, let it go there. Look now, the right, please. Okay. So, yeah, saying look in the right place. Don't worry about what the text is. It's just going up and down. We needed a whole lot of text to be able to do what we're doing, okay? Right. What I'd like you to do now is take the – move the mouse down a little bit below that block, right, just below it a fraction, just a fraction. That's it, down there. If you ever click there, what happens when you click there? It all goes, went right up. I don't know what happened. Just be, uh, okay, do it again. It and goes again. quite a few lines. I don't know how many. It goes quite a few lines. Okay, can you, uh, if we had numbers on the lines, we could probably work it out how many lines it's going it's actually going that it's going up a screen full at a time oh one screen at a time okay okay one screen at a time if you put the pointer up at the top above that obviously it's going to go the opposite way it'll go up a screen full at a time click on that oh right okay so now it's going backwards yes but a screen full at a time so the little arrows at the top and the bottom of the scroll bar move forward and back a couple of lines at a time if you click on the area between the two, it moves up and down a screen full at a time. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and All then right. it goes down a whole page at a time. Yeah, a page. Yeah, a page at a time. Well, I don't. I, I call it a screen full at a time because the page can be any size that you like. You know, it depends well, on. So okay. Yeah. Well, one screen, whatever that is. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, by the way, we've now got two participants. All right. I'll just go in and see who has just joined us. Hold on a second. Okay. Uh, I will. Dirko? You touch the phone pen again? I won't come 11 o'clock. No, oh, it's just two, sorry, two participants. It's only you and me still. And we've got one viewer and two participants. Doesn't matter. It's saying two participants. The two participants are you and me. You think I'm picking the computer with some course. Okay. Okay. Rodeo. Um, do you want to have a, a, one other thing? The, uh, do you know there's a key that you can press that makes it move up and down? Key. A key well, on the key. On the left over the two arrows on your on your keyboard. Yeah, the up arrow and the down arrow. If you like to pr try pressing on the down arrow on your keyboard. And then you've got those two side arrows. Yeah, okay. That goes one at a time, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they okay. go one and down, yeah. They go one, one. I think one or two at a time, yeah. That's it's, right. And if you press the other one, it goes the opposite way. That's right, right. Okay. All right. Um, have you got on your keyboard a page up and a page down key? Uh, yes, page down. Yes, I've got it. But I now press page down once. Page down, it's not working because I've got a numerical lock on, so I switch that off. And then I go page down, it works, and page up works. But once I got a numerical log on, then it doesn't work. Okay, all right. So have a go at that. <coughs> yeah, so I switched it off, and I went up and down, and I've got it back onto the yeah. numbers. Okay. Try just pressing the space bar. Uh, space bar. The bar the it, yeah, it goes quite a few at a time, yeah. Okay, that goes down. Now hold the shift key. The shift key down and press the space bar. Oh, it goes quite a lot of the time. Okay, so for those people that don't have a page up or page down key, or without you even having to put in the num locks, right, you can press the shift, the space bar, or the shift and space bar and move up and down the screen. That's right, yes. yes. Were you aware of that? Uh, no, no, I wasn't aware of the shift one that's going up and down. No. Okay, all right. Once again, uh, I uh, these are the sort of things. We learn in the beginners course that a lot of people uh, 
don't either never learn to, uh, in the first place, or alternately, they, uh, uh, they, they if they did learn it, they've forgotten it. That's why they can come back and look at this video and work out how to do this sort of thing. Okay. Let's just try one other, the last way of scrolling, or well, there's a couple of other ways of scrolling, but we won't cover them all. But one other right. way of scrolling that a lot of people don't realize, and we, we did it a little bit before, put your mouse pointer in the middle of the screen, the middle, the middle of the white area, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, very carefully, press the mouse wheel down so that little icon appears. Oh, down. Okay. Okay. Now, just leave things. Now, what that means, that icon means auto scroll, auto scroll. Now, what I want you to do is just hold the mouse without the wheel or any buttons and move the mouse slightly towards yourself and watch what happens, very only slightly. The, the wheel. No, not the wheel, the whole mouse. Move the mouse towards yourself. Uh, okay, so it goes, yeah, it goes, yeah, yeah. And just let the mouse go now. Now move it slightly towards yourself and let it go. Move it down a little bit and then let it go. Let it go. Watch what's happening. Yeah, it's, Are you watching the, anything now? The screen is move, moving by itself. Completely automatic. That's called yeah. auto scroll. Completely automatic. And you'll notice it's, it's moving. Reading or something, right, okay. It's moving very slowly. Now move the mouse further down the screen. Notice what's happening now. It's going it's faster. It's going very fast, yes. Yeah. yes. Now move it back to where it was. Okay, you've clicked the wheel again. Okay. That's Did I? My mistake, I must have done that. Okay. So must I now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Click the wheel again yeah. just to show it works the other way as well. Right. Press the, move the mouse up, up the screen a bit. Notice it's moving downwards now. Yes. Okay. yes. Looks really great. Very, by the way, if you've got young people that yeah. uh, you want to impress, show them how to do this automatic scrolling because most of them don't realize you can do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. They do all sorts of things on computers, but they don't realize you've got an auto scroll function. They don't know yeah. how to use it. Okay. All right. Okay. Just click the mouse wheel again. So there we are. Okay. Okay. Quickly, to be able to, if you've got a key marked home on your keyboard, home. Well, so I click home, yeah. No. Oh, a key, drop off the a laptop. Yes, I've got a home button. A home button, yeah. Press the home button. Well, well beginner's cause. There you go, right to the beginning. If you've got a key marked end, E-N-D. Right, there we go. And notice the end. And by the way, Look now at the bottom right hand, the, the right hand side of the scroll bar. That's indicating it's scrolled right to the end. So if you quickly, for this 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 web page has got oh, 20 or 30 screens, and probably 40 screens. Yeah, and this, if you uh, yeah if the, press the yeah. home in the end, it quickly jumps up and down, a lot faster than using the mouse. Press the home key again now. Mm -hmm. Back to where it was at the beginning. Right at the top. Quickly jumps to the top or quickly jumps to the bottom. Yes. By the way, uh, I don't know if you're aware, but you know the size of that scroll, the, the size of the little slider on the scroll bar indicates where you are, like it's indicating we're at the top now, but also indicates how big the screen is relative to the other screen. All right, it's a re re how big this page is relative to what what you're doing. Right, to give you an example, yeah. um, if you go scroll down a little bit to our objectives, so you can scroll down and see the objectives. Scroll down to where? Where it's got the word objectives or outcomes. Sorry, uh, so we can see yeah, that yeah, number. Objectives, outcomes. So yeah, scroll down there a little bit. Right, and with so the, just scroll, scroll, the, scroll the screen up so we can actually see it. Rather than putting the mouse pointer, scroll the screen down. That's it. That's good. Okay. Now we've got right. outcomes of objectives. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, Rodeo, you'll notice, remember before we went to mouse exercises, right? I'd like you to look first before we do this. Look at the right-hand side of the screen and see how big the scroll bar is, right? How big the little... 
area is a little small little yeah small one now click on the word where it says mouse exercises right exercises and the number okay. three to the right of number three there. Was click. It click left or right left click all right we're going to a digger pack look at the thing to the right mouse how big is it well, there's 14 of them there well, so yeah, you, no, you see the area to the right now on the scroll bar. Put your pointer over to the right so we're looking at the people can see the scroll bar. Put the pointer over there and see how big it is. Yes, it's twice, twice as big as it was that previous page we came from. We're actually in a different web page. It's twice as big. That means there's only half the depth of the one that we're previously on. So that mm -hmm. block indicates how big the website is that you're on all right okay do you understand that or am i not yes, explaining no, i do i do i do yes okay all right because if you click the back if you click the back button to go back to where you were it'll go back to a smaller block indicating we've got a, a bigger website a bigger web page right yeah there we are click there there let's come back okay so we've done that one all right and we spent yeah. half an hour. Are you okay to continue doing this or do you want to um, drop out? It's, it's up oh, to me. you. You're talking to me? Yes. Yeah. No, well, I, I don't mind. How long do you want to go? You want to go to the hour? Because I'll I think for, you... Probably an hour. I'm willing to go for more if you want to. Yeah, so I, I, I think I'm still, my mind can still take a little bit more. I, I will, let's go to the hour and see how what happens. Okay. All right, not a problem. Okay. Uh, the next of the, the, the things that we're doing, most of the next things that we do, we, we've done we've done now everything to do with the mouse and done everything to do with the scroll. Can I ask you, Barry, if you learnt anything new? You're asking me? Yes, yeah. Have you learnt anything new? Have I learnt anything new? Yes. I've learned lots of new things. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Has it been worthwhile? Definitely, yes. Well spent. This time, very well spent. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. The number um, number five, you obviously know how to do, switch on and off a computer. But oh, successfully don't. switch on and off a computer. Yeah, no, that I know. Yeah. Just by the way, though, a lot of people don't realize you have, yeah. a laptop, you have a laptop computer, don't you? Yes, I have a laptop, yes. You know, if you wanted to switch it off, normally to switch it off, a lot of people, uh, what we like to tell people is, what you need to do to switch it off and to switch it off you shouldn't just use the switch you should actually say to shut down the computer do you know how to do that i go to the start button and then i shut down you know okay can we just can you just show us that then go to the start button don't shut down but just click on the start button okay and then they show shut down okay all right uh, by the way, are you using Windows 10? Uh, yes, I've got Windows 10 on my computer. Okay, so you, but you've also, that's not the normal Windows 10 start screen. No, this is somebody's changed it uh, uh, to it's something else, from, uh, to make it more easy or something. I don't know, whatever. But yes. you can see what screen I got on there. You can see that Google, okay. Microsoft, and all those things on there. Okay, all right, okay. All right then. Um, it's Does that go up? Okay. If you go up to the top where it says Start Menu Windows, right up the top. Yes. Click, yes. click that. That should take you to the original one, I think. Yeah, that's the normal one. Right. That's the normal one that comes with Windows 10. Right. right. And which button? And can you just point? Don't click on it, but just point at the one that does the shutdown. Can you point it with the mouse? It's right at the bottom. It's right at the bottom on the left hand side. I want to come down. Now, further down, over to the left, further to the left. Those icons there. That's settings. Okay, the one right at the bottom. Don't click on it. Please don't click on it. That's the power. Yeah. That's how you switch off your computer if you're using Windows 10. You click on that. Okay. We don't want to do that, so we'll just come away from that. So if you move your mouse and click back on the web page behind it. We won't switch it off, but if anybody that wants to notice, that's how you shut down a computer. You click on that. That's one, okay. the power button, yes. You click on the power button, and then you say to shut down because 
There are other functions other than shutting down, but we won't cover them today. Okay. Yeah, right, but if you yeah. click on the web page behind it, the white area behind that, the start yeah, yeah. will be there. Okay, there we are. So that no, was number no. uh, that was number what are we uh, uh, that was number connect briefly the functions um, that was switch a computer on or off number five. Yeah. Uh, Number six, what to do if the computer doesn't start. Well, if you ever don't know how to do that, you could always go to this website anyway. Uh, types of computers, we're not going to cover that. Desktop and laptop computers. There's 10 things a computer do. We won't do that. Number nine, um, the various parts of a computer, we won't do that either. Number 10, we won't do. Righto. We're going to do number 11, though. Briefly describe the functions of various parts of the keyboard and effectively use them in a, a non-touch typing way, right? The various functions of a keyboard, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, to be able to do this, we preferably we need to use a program which allows you to type, right? Eh? right. A simple program which allows you to type is a program called Notepad. Now, another thing that we need to do is show ways of starting a program. Now, do you, are you aware of the Notepad program? No, no, I'm not aware of the Notepad program. You've never used the Notepad program? No. Have you used Microsoft Word? No, those are things I missed out on. You know, I read classes, but I didn't catch up. So I'm, no, I need to learn Microsoft Word. Okay, all right. Well, it's best if you start, you start, you know, it's a little bit like, you know, Microsoft Word is like a, a Formula One car, whereas Notepad is like a mini minor. <laughs> if well, we learn to drive the mini minor, the right it's, it's like the, the, the car. Yeah. Okay. All right. So to give you some idea, let's 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 show you how we would start a program called Notepad, right? One of the nice things about Windows 10 is it's got this function called um, uh, Type Here to, to Search. So where it's got Type Here to Search, there, if you click there, and then simply type in Notepad. N O T P A D. Oh, so just type in there. Yeah, click there first. You have to click with the mouse right. and now type right. notepad. This is going up. Notepad, yeah, notepad's yeah, come up. up, yeah. And it's come up. Okay. So if you go up to that, now before you do this, I'd like you to, I, I, what I want to, I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to click on notepad. But before you do, have a quick look at the bottom of the screen, the, the taskbar, and note what is there. Google Hangouts. Okay, now, when, now watch the bottom of the screen when you click on Notepad and watch what happens. Click on Notepad. Untitled note. Is that what it is? Untitled note, Notepad. That's what comes yeah. up. But look at the bottom of the screen where it's got right on the, the, the bottom of the um, the bottom of the taskbar where it says Google Hangout. Notice what's to the right of that. What's that say? It says untitled note, the same as the notepad thing. Yeah. Then. So each time you start a new program in Windows yes. 10, it always puts it on the taskbar. All right. Just mm -hmm. as a matter of interest, what if we you know how to close a program? This one has been on. Just click on the left on the top. The left? You mean the oh, right? No, on the right on the corner where the X is. Yeah, okay, so put your pointer up there on the X. Don't click on it yet. Yes. Now look down at the bottom where it says Notepad. Now click on, click on the X. Watch what happens. It goes away, yeah. Yeah, it goes away. And the, 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 the screen goes away and it goes away. Yes. That's one way of starting programs. So we'll do that same thing again. We'll click where it says type here to search, click on there and type note, and we'll start it up again, Note or notepad, and we'll start it again. Okay, yeah. and then click on the word notepad. Okay. All right. I just wanted to uh, do that in the notepad. You'll start in a second. All right. I just wanted to do that to explain how when you start a program and when you finish a program, it appears on the taskbar or it disappears on the taskbar. There's actually a way where you can make it stay on the taskbar. 
Are you aware of that? Uh, no, no. So that is part of it all the time. When you open it, it'll be always there. It's always there. Okay. I'll show you how to do that before we start on the keyboard functions. Go down and on the taskbar where it's got untitled note. Yeah. Point at that. Okay. Now right click on there. Right click. It says, well, you can see, well, you are there, you can see it. All yes, there. I can print, see it. Print to taskbar. Yeah, so go up and click on pin to taskbar. And click there. So now, nothing that. appears to have happened. Okay. Now go up to where it says on the, on the, the notepad window where the X is. Up the top. No, right up the top. Right on the, no, up there. And click on the X. And watch what happens down the bottom. There's just that notepad down there. Yeah. It doesn't say untitled notepad. It's just got the little blue icon there. Okay. Yes. So we no longer have to type in notepad where it says type and such. If you go down to that little blue thing, it'll show you on the taskbar. Yes. Click once. There we are. It's up. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little digression. That's one of the things that we uh, we didn't do in the in the uh, the old. Uh, beginners course because we never had that function back in 19, uh, 2003. <laughs> okay, it's only yeah. Windows 7 and Windows 10 allow uh, Windows 7, 8, and 10 allows you to do that. Okay, something about the keyboard. All right, what I'd like you to do is find the key on your keyboard that's got an A on it. All right, E, the A, the A key on the keyboard. And what I'd like you to do is Quickly press and take, put your finger on and take it off quickly off the A key. A key, A, B, C, D, F, H, I. No, a for alpha, A for alpha, A key. A, A, right. Press what it. What do I do? Yeah, press it. Let it go. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, you held it down too long. That's what I said to do. I said press and release it, okay? So you know how to backspace. So do it again. Press it and release it, okay? An A appears, okay. All right. I'd like you to now press the space bar, the big bar. What happened? Uh, it's moving there. Yeah, moved across one. So yeah. that's what you do if you want to leave a space between a word when you're typing. So when you're typing something and you type in the quick brown fox figure, you type T-H-E space Q-U-I-C-K, example, right? So right. when you're pressing a key, that's what works. But you discovered something earlier that, that a lot of <laughs> that I didn't want you to do because I told you to press and let go of the A key. What I want you to do this time, I want you to press the A key and hold it down for three seconds, then let it go. Okay, what happened? It's lost of A's here. Okay. An actual fact, if you notice carefully when you did that, press the space bar again one more time so we can get something we can tell. When you did that, when you pressed the key, the first A appeared. There was a slight delay when the rest of the A's appeared. That's because the way a keyboard works on, your, on a computer, right, yes. is when you press a key, it sends a signal to the computer. When you release the key, it sends a signal to the computer. If the time between you when you press it and when you release it is more than a predetermined time, it will repeat the key. So try it with the B key now. Hold the B key down and watch what happens. Hold it down for three seconds. Notice the first one appeared, and then there was a, a slight delay, then the rest of them appeared. Right. The same thing with the C key. Press the space bar and see if you can see what I'm talking about. Press the C key and hold it for three seconds. Let it go. You see the first C appeared. It was a slight delay than the rest of them appeared. That's how it worked. Were you aware that this is how it worked? No, no. You weren't aware of that. Okay. All right. That's how all keys work on the keyboard. Oh, yeah. sorry. Most keys. There's a few exceptions to this. Some that don't do this are the control key, the old key, a few keys like that. What I'd like you to do now is put your finger over the top of the e key that's marked enter and press once and release the enter key. The key that's marked what? The big enter key on the right-hand side of the keyboard. The one that you press when you finish typing a line. Press it once and let it go. Oh, enter key. Sorry? The enter key. Enter key. 
should be marked enter. Right. Press it once. Ah, there you are. What happened? So it goes down. Okay. Not only does it go down, it goes down to the next line and back to the beginning, to the left-hand yes, side. Yes, so, so you can start again, yeah. Okay. Press the enter key one more time. That's what we usually call when we're typing a paragraph break. You press usually, you type something, press enter, and press enter a second time. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to show you something else in a minute. All right. And where with a computer, if you're typing, you do not have to press the enter key when you get to the end of a line. All right. All right. Um, I'll show you what I mean. To be able to do this, can you move your cursor to the right hand side of the window? The right hand side of that, that, that the, the notepad window. The, move your pointer cursor. There you are. Move it up. No, right hand, right over to the right hand side. Keep going, keep going. That's it. Now come down to where the scroll bar is. Okay, now come down halfway down the scroll bar. Now move slightly to the edge so it's pointing right on the edge, the right hand edge of that scroll bar. No, not that. That's it. You've got it there. And it changes shape. Notice it changes shape. Move it back yeah. to the left again. Move it back to the left. Move it back to the left again. Must say go left or right? Left. No. Just okay. move the mouse back to the left again. No, without dragging it. Okay, now move it back again. So all I want to do is point out that it changes shape depending on what you want to do. So move okay. it so it's right on the edge. Okay. Right. Now hold the left mouse button down and drag halfway across that window, halfway across to the left. Hold there. Hold the left mouse button down and drag halfway across to the left. Now you let it go. Do it again. Right. Hold it down. Left mouse button down and move, drag, now move to the left. You're going up and down. Move to the left. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. A bit more. Until it comes up to the last C that's in the words in the C's we've got there. That's it. Perfect. Okay. That'll do. Let it go. That'll do. Let it go there. Okay. That's what's called resizing the window. And the reason I wanted to do that is for a very good, very good purpose. All right? Okay. I'd like you to type in a, a, any keys on the keyboard and then the space bar. Type three or four keys and then the space bar. Then the space. Then again. Couple more keys and the space. Space again. A few more and the space. A few more in the space. Do that a couple. Keep keep doing that until it gets to the right hand side, and I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. Now stop. Okay. Now keep typing. Keep typing. A few more keys, and press space. Okay. Now, what's happening is you'll notice it's moving across. And by the way, something we didn't talk about, scroll bar. Notice down the bottom, you've now got a bottom scroll bar. Yeah, the scroll bar's gone full, blue. Yeah, but it's notice you never had one at the bottom before. Go yeah, down to the no. bottom scroll bar. Go down to the bottom scroll bar and drag it back to the left. This scroll bar here? This no, one. no, the one, that one there. Yeah, that's it. You drag it to the left. This one here? Drag it to the left. So now you can't see that text that's to the right, okay? And by the way, and then click back on the middle of the white area of the page. Okay, so now I can, if I click on that. White, the white area on the notepad screen, sorry. No, there, click there, okay. In fact, you've clicked in the middle of it there. By the way, let me show you what happens now. Now that you're in the middle of that, put your finger on the enter key, look up at the screen and press the enter key. It's right down. Uh, you held it down. Okay. You held the enter key down. Put your finger on the backspace key and hold that down just for a little while. Just for a little while. It's going back up. That's enough. Let it go. All right. No, what I want to show you is that when you press enter, anything to the right of the cursor is forced down to the next line. Press the enter key once and let it go. Ah, see what happened? Yes. Everything after the G to the next line. Put it in the middle of the, the, the where you got K, 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 K. Put it on in the middle of the, the four Ks. Put the, the pointer in the middle of the four Ks, in the middle of the four. The, after the first two Ks. And click there. Okay. Now press the enter key. 
notice it puts it on the next line yes okay so you can okay yeah. all right just to show what what we're doing now is this is the use learning how to use the keyboard and the keyboard functions right but what a, to be able to do the thing that i really want you to be able to do i need to change the way notepad works notepad is the only program that i know that does this if on the menu there it says format click on format on the menu where it says untitled notepad it says file edit format go up to format and click on that and notice the first word says word wrap the first yes. menu says word wrap come down to word wrap and click on it okay now nothing much appeared to really happen because we had short lines but i'll show you in a minute go down to where you've got all those m's there at the end on the last line and click to the right of the last m m okay all the m's all the m's okay. i must click on no to the right of it to the right of it click there click there once and that's where you've now that's your insertion point so if you were to start typing now would start typing from that point that's what that little bar means that's why we call it so press a few ends press the space bar some more ends any character doesn't matter anything you want to type there barry doesn't matter anything a few characters a few more now stop there now what I want you to do is notice very carefully, I want you to pre uh, type a few characters and watch what happens, but do not press the space bar, just type in a couple of characters and watch what happens. Watch very closely. Ah, okay. see what happened? Yeah, it goes over to the next line. Yeah, that function is called word wrap. Word oh, wrap. Okay, so when it's full, then the next word starts in the following line. That's right. Okay, when you start to learn word processing, this is what you learn. But to you to learn how to use the keyboard, a lot of people are under the pressure that have used typewriters that when you get to the end of every line, you have to press the enter key. You don't have to. The computer does it for you automatically. That's called automatic word wrap, or just we might be abbreviate to word wrap, right? It's completely yeah. automatic. It does it for you automatically, right? right. So it's called word wrap. Okay. We've heard okay. about a few things like that about things. We're starting to run short of time. I want to quickly show you a couple of things. Go up to the letter A on the uh, uh, right at the beginning, the first A on the left hand side, and click there. I go to the arrow, but I click here now. Yeah, slightly to the right of that, that slightly to the right. No, no not right on the. That's it there. Click there. Okay. Click once. That's your insertion point. Move the mouse away, doesn't really matter. You can don't click, but just move the mouse away. The insertion point stays there, right? You'll notice there's actually two insertion points. There's the one where the mouse is, and, and there's the one up where the A is that's uh, flat uh, that's uh, sometimes flashing anyway. I want you to find on your keyboard the carrot the the key the arrow key pointing to the right. Can you see that on your keyboard? Yes. Okay. Hold your finger over that and look up at the screen and press the but arrow. Now the arrow, I've have to, I have to shift P key because it, below the arrow is a full stop. So you want the arrow, right? Yes, or the arrow, yeah. So press that. Ah, no, you didn't. You pressed the wrong key. You didn't, you didn't have to press the shift. Ah, oh, wrong arrow. My apologies. Wrong arrow. Backspace, backspace out. Backspace all that characters out. Okay. okay. Not the arrows on the keyboard. The arrows near, near, near the numeric keypad. There's arrows to the right, left, up, and down. There should be a, 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 a group of them. The numerical. Oh, yeah. These four arrows that are yeah, page that upside one. down and those two arrows. Is that yeah. what you're talking about? Okay. Press the right hand arrow once. What happened? Look up at the screen. It jumps and goes to the other side. Okay. Move, press it one more time. Press it again. And again. And again. And again. Okay. What's going to happen if you prep the left, left arrow? It goes down. Down. What do you think will happen if you press the down arrow? Ah. Mm -hmm. What happened? It went down. Yes, 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 yes. Try pressing the up arrow. Okay, very good. Okay. okay. Here's an interesting one. You've got a key on your keyboard marked 
N E N D. E N D. And key. E N D key. Yeah, and key. Yeah. Okay. Press that. The E N D key. What happened? Uh, where's my? Oh yeah, it's gone to the end of this line here. Yeah. Okay. There's a key marked home. Before you press it, what do you think will happen if you press the home key? Back to the way it was. Okay. Press the home key. There's it. So quite often I see people with the right hand arrow with the mouse clicking and doing all this sort of thing. If you want to quickly go to the beginning or end of any line that you're where you're typing, you can press the end key or you can press the home key. Home key, yes, yes, when you're typing, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. What I'd like you to do now, this is an interesting one. Hold down the there's a key on the keyboard mark, probably on the left hand side, C T R L. Control key, yeah, yes. Hold that key down. Yes. Okay. And press the end key at the same time while you're holding it down. Where did it go? It, uh, it's gone down to the end here. Yeah. It's gone to the end of the document. Yes. And hold the control key down again and press the home key. It goes back to where it started here. Yeah. Okay. Here's another one. Hold the control key down and press the space bar. Ah, uh, no, it didn't hold the control key down, I don't think. Backspace again, backspace that back out. Ah, that's an interesting one. I haven't seen that one before. I don't know how you got that one. Well, if I'm holding the control key down, it goes backspace. That's what it goes. Okay. You're funny getting funny characters there. I don't know how you're getting those characters. I've probably <laughs> got the wrong key here. i have even forget them myself, but there's a way. Control, Hold on, I'll quickly check it myself. Control key and I go to a space bar, that's where it goes, and then I go to control key and I go back, and this comes up. Okay. Hold on a second. I'll just, uh, I'm just trusting it myself to look at which key is it. Control, ah, no. I said control N, okay. There we are. No, I got the wrong one. Okay, I've just tried it myself. Okay. Put their cursor on the K on the, the second last line, the two between the Ks, and click there on the, the second last line above the ends. Now the next one down. Click, yeah. click there. Click yeah. there on the left, to the left of the two Ks. Very hard to click, isn't it? There we are. Very good. Okay. Thanks. Now hold the control key down. And while holding the control key down, press the right arrow once. Where did it jump to? It jumped to the triple once. Yeah, the beginning of the next word. Hold the control key to press the right arrow again. Yes, yes. Control, right arrow. Must I control and go back? Control and right arrow. Right. Go back to the left arrow. No. Control and right arrow. Control and the right arrow, and then tr control right arrow again. You can, and again, and again. Notice it goes to the beginning of each word. Each arrow, word. Yeah. Hold the control key down and the left arrow. Goes back to the beginning of each word. Okay. Yeah. So that's a, a lot of people do not realize there are, this is what the keyboard's all about. There's quick ways of typing it. Uh, of using these control key and stuff like that. By the way, we've used up our hour. <laughs> you want to keep going? It's up to you. No, no, I, I, my brain is steady now. <laughs> okay. All right, not a problem. Okay, we had a, at least we got all this. It's all been recorded. Just by the way, if you forget any of this and you want to go back and do it, the original email I sent you will have all uh, that uh, have a, a link at the bottom that is available already, so you can go back. Do you believe it or not, you can actually watch this while we're recording it. You can actually go back and watch the beginning of this recording as we're doing it, <laughs> uh, believe it or not. Anyway, so if you want to go back and see all this thing again, you can. In the meantime, I'll send uh, men mention this to other people. Are uh, you interested in doing some more of this type of training, Barry? Yes, I am. I'll phone you back and then you know, I'll, I'll want to do specific training. So I would, I would call you, you know, and tell you, well, when you yeah, see and how we go about it, you know. Okay. All right then. Not a problem. All right. Um, just I'll just tell you how to get out of all this. If you want to close that window, you can close that. 
and I'll ask if you want to save it. That's another thing we haven't learned yet. How you save and that's you can do. Yeah. Don't save. It doesn't matter. You don't need to save it. I don't need to save this, isn't it? I need no, do don't save. If you cancel it, it'll still be there. You have to do don't save. Well, say cancel it, right? No, you need. To, well, you can click on cancel, but it'll still be on the screen. So what? Don't save. Don't save is one you want. Right there we go. And then the window disappears, but it's yeah. gone. Okay, Righto. If you go up to where it's got on your uh, the top uh, Google Hangouts, no, right up the top it says Google Hangouts. Go to that one. Uh, no, one up yeah, the top. Yeah. Yeah, don't cl don't click on the red dot yet. Click on where it says Google Hangout. The word Google Hangouts. Yeah. Don't click on the red dot. Click on where it says Google Hangouts. Oh, the word Google Hangouts. Yeah. Click there. Yeah. Click there once, and you come back, and you'll see a screen with me on. And down see. the bottom, it's got bottom, it's got stop sharing. If you go down the bottom, it says stop sharing. It will say click on that. Yeah, click on that, and it'll stop sharing your screen, right. so we can no longer see your screen. Right. And in a second, I'll see you, and you can see me. Yes, <laughs> I can see you. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Just right. remember, Barry, the next time you're going to do this, we're going to hang up. I'll show you how to hang up. And next time you do this, don't plug those. Don't plug the speakers into that thing because you plugged it into the microphone. And thank you very much. I learned something from that. I didn't realize that some people are plugging in speakers and, and in doing that, they're, they're, they're switching off their microphone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, Barry. Greg. Greg. Greg or Jeff? Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, uh, my surname's Greg, first name's Jeff, so Jeff Greg. Yeah. I, I answer to either. Okay, thanks, matter. Jeff. So. Okay, no worries, Barry. Just to show you how you would stop it all, if you go up to the top there, right up the, put your mouse pointer up the top, you'll notice a couple of things appear, which is it's a microphone and that, and there's a little red um, uh, phone up near the top, just in the window where we are looking at me. If you put the pointer up the top, it says... It's a little beginning. Can you see that? Was I cancel the whole go out of the screen now? No, no. You um, if you put the pointer up the top, where you can you can see the screen where I am, can't you? Yes. If you move the mouse pointer at the top, a, a bar, a black bar will appear, which has one, two, three, four, five, six icons on it. And the last icon on the right says leave call. The, the, there's a leave call, but say go there. Yeah. Once you click on that, that means hanging up. We're just going to disconnect. So you can do that now. So see you later. Okay. See you later. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, see you later then, Barry. Glad you enjoyed it. Bye. Bye. Hang up. Okay. So that's the end of the call. It's back to me. We'll stop the broadcast. If anybody wants to know any more about any of this, Send me an email. The email. I have links in a number of different places where my email is. So I'm going to stop the broadcast and uh, uh, we'll see what happens about people wanting to do this, of course, in the future. Bye.